All right, now I'm going to bust out um, period, central body mass, and radius from this relationship. So this is the one where you know the period of the object, how long it takes to go around once. Okay, so let's solve for period. That's um, that's not too hard, right? So mass of the satellite four pi squared r over t squared, right? Equals g m c m s over r squared, right? Satellite mass goes away the bison. We're going to cross multiply, right? So four pi squared r, and then r times r squared is r to the third, right? And then that equals g m c t squared. Right. And now we want to get T by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by GMC. Right? And that goes away of the bison. And then I guess we have to square root this. Right? Okay, so we get, what do we get? I guess you know what we can do, since you get the square root of 4 pi squared, that isn't that just 2 pi? Right? So uh, 2 pi, pull that out, right? Square root of R to the third over GMC, right, is what t is. Let's see if I did that. Yeah, I did that. Okay. So that's what it is. That's what the solution is. And then this is how you type it into your calculator. 2 times pi times radical sign, left parenthesis, r raised to the third. Right? There's a math thing you can do there, but that, I always just do that, right? Divided by parentheses. you got to put the denominator in parentheses. g times m, right parenthesis to close. These guys close, and then these guys close. Right? Write this down. This is the, one of the hardest ones to do. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to bust out what the central body mass is. Okay. So let's do that. Let's see. Ms 4 pi squared r over t squared is equal to g. So again, the satellite mass cancels dutifully. We're going to cross multiply for the 4 pi squared r to the third equals uh, g m c t squared, right? And now we're solving for, what are we solving for? The central body mass, right? So I'm going to divide by g t squared, right? Those things go the way of the bison. And there it is. That's all it is, right? So that's what it looks like, all prettied up, right? And then this is what you have to type into your calculator. So 4 times pi squared times r raised to the third divided by and then you got to put the denominator in parentheses. By the way, if you don't, it'll divide by g, but then multiply the result. It just gets a running total, multiplies that by t squared when you really wanted to divide by t squared. If you've upgraded your TI-84s, I believe they've got a way to make it look like this and evaluate like that. Okay. So again, write this down. Okay. This is this is a difficult thing. I don't know if you're going to come up with that by yourself, but if you can, don't write it down. You just know how to do it, right? Okay. And now I'm going to bust out r. r is the hardest thing, right? So mass of the satellite, 4 pi squared r over t squared, right, is gmc ms over r squared. This is the hardest one, wouldn't you say so, Mr. Duggan? I would. You yeah. should write this down in your copybook. Your copybook. And be prepared to hand it to the head of class. <laughs> That's right. 4 pi squared r to the third. I'm just cross multiplying that times that. This times this, right? GMC t squared, right? What you got? I'm just hanging out. Right, and then we're solving for r, right? So we put this guy 4 pi squared there. And then there's really no simple thing, right? The answer is going to be the cube root of that, right? And that's a special button on your calculator. Yeah, sure is. Uh, I think so you have to go to math. Push the math button. You do. So there it is looking all pretty like that, right? This is my solution. If I ever don't want to use the math button, you can raise something to the one-third. Right? So write that down. It's g times m times t squared divided by, they always forget to put that in parentheses, so 4 times pi squared. Okay. Right, because so if not, you're going to screw up your order of operations, right? Boys it'll divide by 4. And, and then times pi squared, and right. then it'll be all wonky. So write that down. This is generally what you've got to do. And then uh, you should be able to do those orbit problems in class. Yeah. Are you talking about the orbit problems like here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're flipping that, baby. At least that one class. Yeah. yeah Both well, of my classes. To. Yeah, my class, too. All right. Yeah. All right. There we go. So that's, uh, we'll, we'll, I'm going to bust out some more examples here. But uh, if you've got this in your notes, you're good.